Okay, guys, welcome back. So this is bout number two, and this is the second semi-final for the 132-pound Nurchoyo tournament. Myanmar is taking on Thailand. In the blue corner, we have Zor EC. He is 23 years old, 170 centimeters tall, 35 fights on his record, 25 victories, five losses, and five draws. He's training out of Saw Jit Salong Chat, and he's from Myanmar. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner from Thailand, Kongdet Fertex, 27 years of age, 173 centimeters tall. He has a total of 70 fights, 55 victories, and 15 losses. Currently training out of Fertex in Padia City, Thailand, and he is from Drang Province in the south. Okay, so one of these two is going to face Mohamed Ramazani in the final of Group B. And they've got a lot, a lot to play for, really, because they'll obviously win prize money if they win the final tonight. And then there's more prize money to win in the final, grand final later on in the year. That's right. So it's a big matchup for both of these competitors. See a big height advantage for Kongdead Fairtex. And no doubt a huge advantage to him as well. I mean, the Fairtex gym is a really well established and very, like, got lots of great facilities at, at the gym itself, along with great trainers, great training partners, huge stable of fighters as well that are very active on the Muay Thai circuit in Thailand and abroad as well. But let's see what will Saw EC's approach, what Saw EC's approach is, go is gonna be. Will he start walking forward or will he remain on the back foot? But what we know about Myanmar fighters is that they love to push forward and they want that knockout early. Yeah, what they lack in skill, they make up for in heart and put on great fights. And pure brutality. Okay, so different to our first battle where both these two are in the orthodox stance. So none of them are really going to have an advantage. Yeah, you could already see Kong Dev fighting on the back foot using his reach to his advantage, trying to go for the double elbow. Good right hand there from Saw EC. And going in for that huge knee to the ribs. You can already tell what Kong Dead approach is going to be. He's going to try to fight on the back foot and wait for Saw EC to come in first. And he's changed stances already. Saw EC slipping there, but a lot of things. Yeah, for the second time already in this bout. Might be a hard night for Saw EC. Kong Dead, on the other hand, taking his time, waiting for the right moment. Good kicks there. Two kicks in a row now for Kong Dead, unanswered. Saw EC going back for one of his own, but it was catched. Nice elbow straight down the middle from Kong Dead. Kong Dead looked like he was attempting the cross after that kick, but just pulled it. Didn't get his range correct. That's that's very like that's experienced fighter right there. Yeah, I love that flying knee straight down the middle by Kong Dead though. Reese his uh, his target just fine. I mean, he's only got a three centimeter height advantage over Zor EC, but he's using it. So in his advantage very well, but staying at, at range like, the, like this. You know, just looking at the screen, it looks like it's more than three centimeters. I mean, take a look at that. Yeah, it does look more than what it is on, on paper for sure. Looks like he's got more than a head above Zaw EC. And really, the tactic for Zaw EC, fighting a taller fighter, he wants to utilize the low kicks just like that. Overhands is definitely a must as well, especially going to the body too. Yeah, Zaw EC trying to go for a different tactic, trying to fight on the inside, going for the clinch and knee. But it seems like Kong Dead has the advantage on the inside as well. Yeah, Zaw EC does not want to be in the clinch against Kong Dead. I mean, just what it seems like, Zaw EC just needs to make this a brawl, try to push his opponent back. Good right hand from Zaw EC and a missed kick there from Kong Dead. Zaw EC getting reckless there by just jumping in, lunging in with that overhand right and getting wrapped up in the clinch by Kong Dead. You know, I mean, if your IQ is just isn't as good as your opponent's, what you have to do is try to surprise them, do something that they don't expect. Good right hand again from Zaw EC. 
I mean, that right hand has landed flush a couple of times already in this first round. Kong Det has to be very careful. Never know, so EC could pull up a huge upset here. Another right knee straight down the middle by Kong Det, and now to the side. And a great look, lock from Condet as well, wrapping his arms around, locking up. So you see him landing some great knees. Yeah, Condet doing a good job controlling the inside and the outside. And that's the end of the... Why not? If it's not broken, don't change it. Or if it's not broken, don't fix it. That's the saying, right? That is it. That is right. But you can imagine neither of the fighters, they want to tire themselves out before the finals later on. No, definitely not. But I think Resort EC lacks a lot of skill and experience against Kongdet, so he wants to Use that one right hand that he's got and try and just go for broke with it. Keep trying to land it. Yeah, that was a beautiful throw just now from Kong Dead. And Kong Dead now taking the fight to Zaw EC. Zaw EC struggling in the clinch. Two knees in a row there. Now three knees for Kong Dead. Kong Dead really taking the fight to his opponent now. Good punches there from Zaw EC, but a return by Kong Dead who returns into the clinch once again. So we saw that lock in the first round where Condet just wraps his hands around the neck of Zor EC and pushes his forehead right in the neck as well so he can maintain a good position. Just keeps on landing the knees straight through the body. If you keep on landing knees to the body, you're going to take the power away from a boxer, especially a power puncher, Kevin. That's right. Now another good kick from Zor EC. Zor EC really trying to get close to his opponent and I'm not sure why he's trying to initiate the clinch. Not a good idea. He hasn't been on top of that ever since the first round. And that was smart there early on from Kongdet using the shin block in the exchange to gain some easy points. Straight knee up the middle as well from Kongdet as he marches forward to land more knees and body kicks on Zor EC. Now we've heard this a couple of times, Ali, that fighters tend to change their style when they come into a three-rounder. But something tells me at the moment, Kongdet is actually a clinch and knee fighter. And he's fighting it like it right now. With that height, wouldn't surprise me at all. Good kick from Kong Dead and Zoe C. He is cornered, perhaps in a little bit of trouble. Another knee to the midsection by Kong Dead. Zoe C. Swinging for the fences. Kong Dead has a really tight grip on the top of his neck, and referee just breaking it up there. That was lucky for Zoe C. Zoe C. Trying to go to the body, but it's like he just missed with that body shot. I dare say it seems like Zoe C. Is on borrowed time at the moment. Just hasn't had the advantage in this round at all. He needs to go back to the punches just like that, but he needs to avoid the clinch. There is no way he's going to get anything in the clinch against Kong Dead. Kong Dead pushing forward again with a lot of confidence. Good right hand connecting for Zar EC. That's way better though. But like you said, he needs to stay out of the clinch. This is the problem with fighters like Zor EC that like to push forward. He needs to be able to push forward and then use lateral movement to move to the left or to the right, or just back off. Yeah, dare I say it, quite one-dimensional. Now Kong Ted, very relaxed at the moment. He knows he's done enough in this round to win it. Zor EC on the back foot, receiving a right kick, and now Zor EC trading blows with Kong Ted. 
going for the spinning back elbow, and perhaps that connects it. I'm not sure. The one thing that we can't rule out is that Zaw EC is tough. He's taking some hard shots from Kong Dead in this round and refuses to go down. Yeah, showing a huge heart here, Zaw EC. Kong Dead, though, still very confident. Hey, a huge right hand there from Zaw EC, and that's going to do it for. Yeah, I mean, if you're not at 100%, you're not going to survive a three-rounder against Kong Dead, Fairtex. Kong Dead has been excellent so far. Here we go, round number three. Once again, it's Kong Dead pushing forward. Good right hand there from Zaw EZ. And Kong Dead with another flying knee to the midsection. And Kong Dead holding onto the ropes and kicking. I don't think those will score. But then again, Zaw EZ having a lot of trouble with the clinch from Kong Dead. We gotta wonder what is Mohammed Ramazani thinking while watching this ringside as he's gonna face one of these two later on tonight in our final bout. I mean, I don't wanna to speak too soon, but the finals, the, the prospect of seeing Kong Dead taking on Mohammed Ramazani, I mean, that's just mouthwatering. Yeah, it is. Clash of styles between the two of them. If anything, Mohammed Ramazani has a similar style to Zor EC, but he's just a little bit more well-rounded and more calculated with his shots. And I dare say the footwork is a tad better. A tad, yeah. A just tad, a tad better. <laughs> he's not as reckless. Absolutely. Good right hand there from Zor EC, and that's exactly what he needs to do to try to get something out of this fight. Try to take the fight to Kong Dead and try to knock him out here in this third and final round. Condet though, happy to sit on the back foot and wait for Zori C, wrap him up in the clinch and score some easy points. An overlook move there from Zori C, throwing the elbow to the body, Kevin. Don't see that too often, do you? No, you don't. I mean, there was one fight who loved to do it, and that was Somrak Saw Kam Singh. But I did not expect that to come from Zori C, but a very welcome technique nonetheless. Good kick to the midsection by Kongdet. Now Kongdet with an elbow whilst his legs we're caught. Good balance there from Kong Dead Fairtex. Kong Dead showing really good skill and balance by just balancing that kick as it lands and locking off Zorty C as they go into the clinch. Yeah, and here we go again. Is that thing in that third round when a fighter is confident of what they've done in the first and second, they move back, take it easy, because potentially Kong Dead Fairtex does have another match coming here later on tonight. Our final bout is the Gun Chayo final. In Group B. Unless so EC could pull up the upset of the year at LWC Super Champ by scoring a knockout in round three. I can't see it happening with, when the clock winds down like this, Kevin. And quite frankly, it's not the first time I've heard you say that before. And uh. then the knockout actually coming. Well, here we go. Hopefully it comes. Expect the unexpected in Muay Thai. Well, Kong Dead won't be hoping for it, that's for sure. <laughs> but Kong Dead at the moment in cruise control. Seems like nothing can hurt Kong Dead at the moment. 
Good clinch up from Kong Dead, just nullifying any attacks from Zor EC. I mean, this is the definition of insanity from Zor EC, just trying the same thing over and over again and, expe and just getting the same outcome. Just keeps on going forward, trying to land straight punches down the middle of the Kong Dead. And some of them are landing, but it just keeps on getting wrapped up in the clinch. Yeah, Zor EC, he gave it, or Zor EC, excuse me, gave it all he had. Has nothing to be ashamed about. All he could do now is just go back, look back at the tapes, and try to improve for the next. Ladies and gentlemen, and please give it up for our winner from the Red Corner, Thailand! Kong Ned, Fair Tech, and Kapo, Hutchana, who saw one egg up. Soon, Tame Pan, Kosu, Rochi, and other live loy. Let's talk to Nak Moy, Hondi, Mohammad, from Iran. They will meet again at about number seven this evening, the final of the four man tournament. อันนี้คือความหมายของเราครับที่ LWC Super Champ ครับเราบอกว่าจัดเต็มนะฮะทุกคู่นะฮะเจ็ดคู่คุณภาพของเราทุกวันเสาร์ครับ17นาฬิกา30นาทีเป็นต้นไปผ่านช่อง8 The King of Fighting Sport พาไปแล้วถึง2คู่ครับแน่นอนคู่3ของเราฮะจะเดือดเหมือน2คู่แรกนี้แน่นอนครับเราจะขึ้นมาอยู่ในพิกัดลำดับ138ปอนด์ครับนักชกจากประเทศอิหร่านคนนี้ครับรูปร่างสูงใหญ่แข็งแกร่งนะฮะพร้อมจะสู้เต็มที่กับนักชกวัย23ปีจากกำแพงเพชรประเทศไทยครับต้องบอกว่าก็ไม่ธรรมดาครับลีลาและอาวุธครบเครื่องมากมายครับมาแน่นอนพักสักครู่ช่วงหน้าคู่3 let's go